I got my idea from Blood on the River, how Captain Smith wanted to trade with the Indians and not kill each other. When they were doing that, they traded jewels for weapons and food, so Captain Smith and them could live in the woods. Then I watched a video about Martin Luther King Jr., the great Martin Luther King, on his birthday celebration week. I also know that there is a lot of terrible things about black and white people, how some of them even got di even died or even died or arrested, mistreated, even doing nothing illegal. I am doing two events, one from the past and the other from the present. One of them is one of them is uh, Emmett Till. Emmett Till is a little black boy who is 14 years old, 1955. There was this white woman back then which said Emmett Till whistled at her because back then black people and white people didn't get along. And the white woman told Emmett Till's parents of what he did and Emmett Till said he didn't do it. Both of the woman's brother and husband, they both decided to kidnap Emmett Till and they literally beat him to death. Uh, they, those men did not go to jail for what they did. But the sad thing is, um, just recently that woman said that she lied about it. Um, it's really sad, really sad. The other one that I am doing is Trayvon Martin. Trayvon Martin is a little black boy. In 2012, he got shot by a mixed-race security officer. Um, he didn't go to jail for what he did either. I... <coughs> <coughs> which caused the Black Lives Matter movement. <clears throat> My overall vision is to show human beings human beings that don't know that this is happening to show them that this is really sad. Like in the great Martin Luther King I have a dream speech I learned in his speech he said one day I will one day, my four little children will live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the by who they are on the inside, not the outside. And <clears throat> which tells us that Martin, Dr. King's dream hasn't come true yet. It has gotten better. There's no more slavery. There's no more segregation. We even had a black president. <clears throat> the other thing that was important that he said is that um, in 1963, he said, This is not the end. This is but a beginning. Which tells us that Dr. King is telling us that Things can be bad, but they can also get better for what they become. I got inspired with Banksy. Banksy is a artist. Um, I really like his work because he he has good art. I love Banksy. He's my favorite artist. Not my favorite, but the favorite that I've seen. 
Um, the thing that I like most about Banksy is that he, he, uh, Banksy, I love, he, he's a mysterious person, he's a mysterious artist, and I love mysteries, mysteries are so magical when you find out what it is, or who they are, what's that thing, found that thing, and he, he's a mysterious artist because he does his work at night, work at night, and doesn't show himself, so he's a mysterious artist. I love that. Uh, my technique is like Banksy's, but in a small scale. He, most, uh, graffiti artists, like Banksy, use spray paint, spray paint, uh, coloring pencils, markers, utensils, but I used was paint, color, colored markers, pencils, and clay. I really want people to know that this is a serious issue in the world, in the United States, that people are being treated not nicely in a... Uh, I don't like it either. I don't think anybody likes it. Um, uh, what I want people to know is that I really think this is a bad issue. And I want people to know that too. And like Dr. King said, we shouldn't be judged by on the outside, but who we are on the inside.